By the time we won in 94, our last two series went uh, seven games. So if you can imagine across a couple months, you're living like a monk. Early to bed, get up, have breakfast meetings, you practice, watch game film, repeat. And you do this again and again and again hmm? to absolute mayhem after you win. And then you don't sleep for a straight week. You know, it's New York. We hadn't won in 54 years, so this town exploded. I mean, it was, it was absolutely crazy. Visiting family and friends and parties on Long Island, Brighton Beach with the Russian guys. It was incredible. And the beautiful thing about that cup is you do get to celebrate it with people. You just have the Stanley Cup, and it's 30 or 40 pounds, and it's a sunny day in New York, and I kind of didn't think about it. I just I had the Stanley Cup in my arms, and I hailed a cab, and uh, a guy walks by and just goes, is that really the Stanley Cup? Can I touch it? Just put his hand on it like it was a new baby or something like that. You know, it was so much respect. A good friend of ours, he said, you know, I've got a friend who's having a few girls over, and you guys should all stop and just say hi. And of course, it was a bachelorette party, and we went from a, a really peaceful, quiet meal to a conga line at about 4 in the morning with a cup. That cup would come into a bar or a restaurant, and it was just instant insanity it would turn the place from fun to you know the last party on earth but after a week or 10 days there was a couple nights where guys were like get that thing away from me because i just need to mellow out a little bit i'm mike richter and that is my tale